Understanding Evoke Emotions, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, evoke emotions. Understanding such phrases not only enriches your vocabulary but also helps in grasping the nuances of the English language. Let's dive in. Evoke emotions is a phrase that means to bring out feelings or emotions in someone. The word evoke is key here as it implies causing something to happen or be felt. This phrase is often used to describe art, music, literature, or any experience that stirs feelings inside you. For instance, a beautiful painting might evoke a sense of calm, or a movie might evoke sadness. To better understand evoke emotions, let's see some examples. 1. Music and emotions. Think of a song that makes you feel happy or sad. This song evokes those emotions in you. 2. Movies and storytelling. A powerful movie might evoke feelings of inspiration or anger, depending on its story. 3. Literature. When you read a book and feel connected to the characters, the author has successfully evoked emotions through words. Understanding and using evoke emotions is important because it 1. Enhances communication. It allows you to express how something makes you feel more vividly. 2. Deepens understanding. Knowing such phrases helps in understanding English literature and media better. 3. Improves language skills. Using varied phrases like this can make your English more fluent and expressive. 1. Don't confuse with invoke. While invoke sounds similar, it has a different meaning. Invoke is more about formally calling upon something, like invoking a law. 2. Context is key. Always use this phrase in an appropriate context, referring to something that causes an emotional reaction. And that's it for today's lesson on evoke emotions. I hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase more confidently in your conversations and writing. Remember, learning English is a journey full of exciting phrases and expressions like this. Keep practicing, and see you in the next video.